What is up guys? So today we're going to be taking a look and doing an unboxing slash review of the eye stabilizer dolly. Now if you're not familiar with what this is, this is actually a dolly that will allow you to take cinematic shots. With all of your smartphones it actually comes with a uh, mount for your iPhone, iPod touch and even an Android device. And it also works with cases, which is also nice. So flipping it to the back, as we see here, it gives you a brief description of what you can use this with and what it's made for. So as I said, it's for making like cinematic shots and, and make your videos look a lot more impressive. I'm actually doing some shots with the dolly on this video. So the dolly comes with an arm that adjusts to shoot at any angle I see here. Also holds your point and shoot cameras or camera phones. And it also works with any case or bumper, which is up to two and three quarters wide of a case. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look and do an unboxing of this real quick for you guys and see what it's all in the box. Now opening up the box, we do get a couple things, not much, but you see here, we pull this little tab up and then we reveal all the actual parts of the dolly. We have this eight and a half inch flexible arm, which attaches to the dolly and tripod mount. Now going back to the box, we have the mount itself right here for your camera or phone and all that good stuff. And lastly, we have the actual body along with the wheels. And you see here, this one actually came um, as a two piece. I guess it unscrewed itself while it was in the box. But anyways, we put it together. I see here, this is how you assemble it together and we are good to go. Now I'd like to point out that the wheels are really smooth. It's like a rollerblade type of wheels. Uh, they're real smooth on a flat surface, of course, which gives you those nice cinematic shots. But anyways, here in the middle, we do have three little screws, and this is where you will attach the actual arm onto. And then here on each side of the wheels on the axle part, you can unscrew this right here slightly, and then kind of point where you want to angle the wheels to. And you see here we have little... Uh, lines and it gives you a degree of what uh, angle it's going to be at so you can align both of the wheels like this and then you'll have a different style of panning shot now you are able to attach the arm on the body of the actual dolly as you see here i attach it to the middle and now let's go ahead and attach our tripod mount stand along with our eye device i'm actually going to be using my iphone 5 along with my mophie juice pack air case which gives it a little bulkiness so just to show you that it actually works with cases, I'll show you and demonstrate it with this case on my iPhone 5. Now I'm gonna try out my Canon Parashot and just show you what it feels like and what it looks like when you do a little um, panning shot with the eye stabilizer dolly. Now you see here, I kind of angled the wheels so it will do like a circle pan around of an object. And this is what it's gonna look like. It's pretty smooth. As you can see on here. Now something I'd like to point out is that it does support a DSLR. I actually shot some of the video uh, with my DSLR mounted as you saw earlier in the beginning of the video. Now I want to say that it doesn't actually hold it up very well because the DSLR I use, which is Nikon D5100, is slightly on the heavier side. And depending on the different angle that you set the arm to, it does become a little top heavy I should say and it, it kind of pulls the weight all onto one side and it ends up flipping over your dolly. That's something I like to point out. It doesn't really support a DSLR, even though I kind of made it work. But like I said, you kind of have to angle it at a certain way in order for it to support it because it does start to be a little heavy on one side, depending on what side you put it on. But overall, it feels like a very durable accessory if you want to do those panning shots and all those cinematic type of shots. It's all made out of metal, so it doesn't feel like it's going to break at all. So go ahead and check it out, guys. I'll leave a link down below for pricing and availability down below in the description. So you can go ahead and check that out. It runs about $50 to $60, depending where you get it. But I'll leave the cheapest place where you can get it down below in the description. So go ahead and check it out, guys, and let me know what you think about it. And as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. It not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And also, if you haven't followed me yet on Facebook or Twitter, go ahead and do so for future updates. And if you're new to the channel and you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I come out with all of my latest videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. 
All right. Peace.